So Byrne leads the way. This means that Tommy Hill is one point in the lead in the championship, I think. Yes, Hill 6-4-3, Hopkins 6-4-2, as they come bounding onto the finishing straight. Crowd's going onto the, now. Onto the 18th of 20 <laughs> laps. You can hear the crowd. And Michael Loverty's pushed through into fifth place. Well, you know what Michael Loverty needs to do now? He's got this to do is, something about Hopkins. This is a sector of track, though, that Hopkins is really, really quick, especially down the, the bottom bend here, then into Surtees. Oh, he's gone Michael, wide. Michael Loverty looked gone for wide. a way inside then. Here we go. A bit, he'd already, oh. That's not how it happened. That, he'd already got the pass made. He, got, <laughs> he carried so much speed from... I, I don't know how he did it. Un incredible. No. This is Tommy Hill, he's having Watch just got now. to be careful and take it. He had to go conservatively tight into Surtees. Has he got the speed down Pilgrim's drop? It's if Hopkins has got the drive out of Surtees to get past Tommy. Now we know Tommy's quick. From here, Tommy's uh, the quickest man on track, I think. So Tommy Hill, uh, as, uh, with that inspirational pass, well, he's given himself a chance. And now, and now Laverty is in a position to make a massive difference and to, to, to defend and to help his teammate in a big way. And if he can just get past Hopkins. He's looking for every opportunity he can to get past the American here. He's he got him. Oh, no. he had him. James Ellison Lover here is, is and somehow fending everybody off. He's still second, but right behind him, the championship decider is taking place. And how? We're going on to the last two laps of this colossal this race. This is unreal. Now, Tommy, Tommy needs to make a real lunge at Ellison. Oh, Laverton needs to make a lunge at Hopkins. And here comes Tommy with the inside. Tommy Hill gets inside. James Ellison at last. Ellison He's is forced it. to submit. He's got it. Go, what a move by Tiger Tom. Tommy Hill who runs out wide, but he's got the line up to Druid's Hill Bend. And now, that... now we're gonna see what Hopkins is made of, because he needs to go now, and he knows that. He doesn't need a lap signal, he knows what he, he needs to do. We're on the penultimate lap of the final race of the 2011 British Superbike Championship. Tommy Hill, Come number 33, here comes Hopkins. Hopkins. He's been strong up here earlier today, he moves back past Ellison. Now he's got that third place, he's got Tommy Hill in his and sights. And he knows he needs to... He knows what he needs to do now. The championship is right there in the front of the screen. So we're on the uh, penultimate lap of the 2011 title chase, and the two protagonists are there, second and third in the race. Whoever finishes in front between the two of them will take the title. And we've got two contrasting characters. Tommy Hill, uh, the uh, effer affable, effervescent young man from Surrey against the fella from uh, Ramona, South in Southern California, John Hopkins. And Hopkins, this is ominous now because Hopkins forced his way past Ellison just when he had to do it, and he did yes. it where he wanted to do it, not where Ellison left, let him do it, and he, he's able to get back on the back wheel of Tommy really quick, and that... I and think the, that's the it. crowd howling as they emerge into the arena. One lap! And uh, one lap really to go. Miss. We're on the Brabham Straight. Here comes Hopkins, trying to take the tight line as they go down into Palakin Bell. Tommy Hill runs what. across to defend it. I'll tell you what, this is blokes racing this. This is bloke stuff, this now. It's the biggest man that's going to take this. Into Druid's Hill Bend. Hopkins looks and to go round the outside. Surtees, he'll definitely look at Surtees with Hopkins. He's been he strong will, there. Because he's been and he look, he's going for the wide line to get a Tommy, good kick Tommy's out onto the defense. Tommy straight. has to defend, he's got to give him the long way around. Cut, and oh, Hopkins gets a terrific it. drive out of uh, that bend and he's forced his way through, going into Surtees, inches between front and rear wheel. Tommy Hill guides and tries to get the drive out this of Surtees. But is Hopkins it. has got the move. Watch Tommy now, Tommy Tommy's really drop. He's got to make a move as we go down now. Pilgrim Grims drop into Hawthorne. Tommy takes that he's narrow line it. and uh, levers his way back he's got in it. front this of Hopkins. It. But now he's got to keep in front of him as Hopkins comes underneath him. He's at Westfield and he forces Tommy to give as they drop down into Dingle Dell. Tommy Hill takes another drive up the inside into the Sheen Curve. What heroic oh, racing. Hero. Tommy's wide and Sheen Curve. He pulls it back across. It's going to go down to the finishing last line. Corner. He's the last corner, Jack of a company. Heads down now towards Clearways. I can't believe it's this. John Hopkins moves over to try and get a tight line. He did this to Tommy last time out. He moves across. Tommy cuts back and dives in. Hopkins has got in too deep. They go for the line. Is it going to be Hill? Is it going to be Hopkins? And they cross the line. Hell. It's Hill. It's Hill by, by six thousandths of a second. 
Dobby Hill is the British superbike champion I, by I six thousandths of a second from John Hopkins in the final that, race of the day. An absolute joy for the red and yellow of the that, Swan Yamaha team that's had so much ill fortune over the years. Sean Muir and Gary Eckerall can't believe it. Jack Valentine. Well, he's a good sport, he's big Jack, and he'll go and congratulate those that, fellas. But what a race. Look, Shakey's looking round saying, what happened? That's the John best Hopkins race. had already John, ridden on. Jack, Jack, that is the best race I've ever seen in my whole life. And Harvey Beltran congratulates everybody involved in that. Of course, he had a race winner there. And uh, look at that, hugs all round. Sean Muir in tears because he's put so much into that team. There can so be long. nothing but respect for each other for the, after that display. No dangerous moves, lots of passes. You could not get a better race than that. Tommy Hill. Look Tommy him. Hill, number 33, is the 2011 MC Insurance British Superbike champion in a phenomenal what, final race. But how did he do it? How tough had he got to be there? And Hopkins. You can take nothing away from either of them. Tommy Hill, watch this. Here we go. Hopkins got the better drive. Hill's got the lead, but look, that's how close it is. Come on, he's still coming, he's Hopkins. I can't, but look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. It was about a half wheel across the line. That was a tail look, look at this, Ian Hutchinson there, in the, and they can't quite see whether or not it's happened. Yes, it has, boys. Yes, it has. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Paul Denning and Jack Valentine. Oh, they can't believe it either. Oh. Les Pearson. Oh. Well, Tommy, Tommy Hill. Hill. Oh. Now, oh. How, how has a man come back from the sort of injuries and the, uh, the astonishing lows of 2008? The injuries he went through, the loss of his close friend, the cancer of his dad, everything that went off. And he recovered, he got back to what we could call full fitness. And I don't think he can quite believe he's made it. That was pretty fantastic riding by both those fellas. But for yeah. Tommy to somehow get the better of Hopper in that situation, that was pretty special. That's why I love motorbikes. Firstly, sorry I've come dressed as a Power Ranger. I thought it was a <laughs> fancy dress. No, um, oh, unbelievable, um, you know. We all race so hard through the season, and um, you know to come out on top for me and a Swan Yamaha team is uh, is fantastic. Um, you know, you race at the top there all season, and then round nine you got you start again if you're in the top six. Pressure's back on, and um, you know I just thought go out there this weekend and race my bike um, and and try and do what I need to do. You know the pressure was on there the last few laps, and you could tell that me and Hopper wanted it. BSB wanted a showdown. I think everyone at home got a showdown. Can you believe that a 26 race championship game came down to six thousandths of a second, half a wheel? I can't believe that. Absolutely unbelievable. The guys were saying here, and James Whitman certainly said that it was, he thinks, uh, the best two laps of racing he's ever seen. Absolutely. To be a part of that, it must, it must be a great feeling. And people at home perhaps aren't fully aware of your backstory, Tommy. It wasn't that long ago that you, your thigh was badly broken. It could have been a career-ending injury, and you spent months, well, when you were on the phone to, uh, to a few people like me, you were saying that you were just doing jigsaws in your mum's kitchen to try and pass the time. You were so bored. You never thought it would come to this, did you? No, uh, you know, a few years ago, no one likes excuses and bits and pieces like that. You know, everyone just wants to watch a bit of racing and see what goes on. But in 2008, I had a pretty bad year. You know, someone was ill in my family, losing a good friend, Craig. So, uh, you know, as I said before, um, you know, I want to, um, you know, send my regards out to his family and, um, you know, this wins for him as well because Craig, of course, he lost his life at this track and, um, you know, had all fittingly, my injuries, fittingly, so. Craig, Craig, Craig lost his life on the corner that you won the title on. Um, so it all sort of comes together, doesn't it, in a strange way? Not wishing to get too sort of out there, but it does all come together. I think Craig might have just given me that extra bit of grip, you, grip at the last mm, corner. What I want to know is, is what you've been through, broken leg, your other broken leg, you've been through the mill in quite a big way. Do you think that mm, gave you the impetus to do what you did? Gave you the sort of, sort of bravery is what you needed? I think, like, uh, you know, it was going to come down to who was brave and who was going to open that throttle in that last corner. And uh, I shut my eyes and just thought... Do or die, you know, this is it, British Championship or not British Championship.